Back it up, kid. Back it up. This is not food. Whoa! Good stuff. I'm making a dent in some things that had to be done to keep these animals happy and healthy. Want to see something? We got, got a little roach problem. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, people. This sucks. Listen. That's, hear this? That's roaches falling to the ground. And let me tell you, definitely want to have it be walking here right now. Gross. Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. It is awesome. I gotta be honest. It is a beautiful day. We also have our Aquascape waterfall kit sent to us from our guys at Aquascape. I opened it up to check out all the components. We're gonna be building that in a new enclosure, a new enclosure for one of my monitors. You guys are gonna love that. But today, I gotta get to work, man. Today is gonna be a very, very busy day. We've got a lot to do to prepare the camp for the cold weather that's coming in. Now, when I say cold, that's relative. I know you guys up north have been dealing with cold weather a little bit now for probably since September, but we're just gonna get our first cool air. It's gonna get down to 63 degrees. And I know you guys are gonna start laughing, gonna make fun of me in the comments, but 63 degrees for some of the reptiles that I have can be just too cold. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Irie Rowe. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Here are the sulcatas. As you see, there's no doors. So what I want to do is I'm going to want to make some weather stripping, uh, some passive, what's called a passive heat barrier. We're going to do uh, inside and outside on both sides. So this way we can keep the hot air in there. Uh, in addition to that, we have to make sure that all the other enclosures um, have some kind of electricity going to them. I've got to get the heaters on, the thermostats set up. So the next couple of days here at the camp are going to be very important um, because if I don't get this done, it's going to make life real difficult for the animals. So we've got the radiateds to set up. We've got over here, I've got to do our friends, the galops, which basically is simple. I just need to run an extension cord um, to get their shelter heated. Oh, you can hear my ring going off. That's me walking around. So we got to get this one set up. We've got a lot to do. Uh, the other thing I've got to do, which I'm probably going to start uh, doing first, is getting the warehouse ready. Um, there's a room in the warehouse uh, that is insulated and right now it's kind of a storage area. You're going to see it. It's my least favorite place at the camp. I've said it often before. Um, but what I need to do is get that ready because the tortoises in here are going to use that as a heated shelter as well as me putting the snakes away uh, for the winter. They're going to live in the vision cages. But as you can see, I've got a bit of a mess on my hands. Now watch this. This is not going to be fun. I got to clean this place up and get it ready. I can't even get the door open. All right. See this? We got a lot to do, people. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to get to work on right now is just cleaning this out, sweeping it out, getting rid of some stuff I don't need. And we're going to set up the vision cages so I can get my blackhead python and my coastal carpet python in there. So I don't have to worry about heating anything outside. We're just going to pull them in for the next couple of months until it warms up again. So you guys are going to watch me work. This is what we got to do to keep these animals happy and healthy here at the camp. Uh, so there'll be some surprises that pop up. I'm sure that I'll have to uh, deal with. So what do you say we get right to it? See you in a bit. I hate this room. I hate this room. I think I need to do a look at we got want to see something? We got got a little roach problem. <laughs> I think. I think we got a problem. My wife's gonna not be happy when she's this. Luckily it's outside. Don't worry, there's nothing like this inside the house. But uh obviously we've got some rodents that are causing some drama in the walls. 
This is disgusting. I want to rip this whole thing down. Um, I want to rip it down and do spray foam insulation on it. Uh, it. It'll just be way better. So as I'm breaking this down, I'm having this thought like this, this is horrible. Um, I hate this room. Uh, but it'll stay warm and I'm gonna clean it up best I can uh, so that you know the animals will be okay in here uh, just for a short period of time but my goodness this this is just horrible I got to get rid of all this stuff this is a project man has to be done has to be done so I don't know just thought I'd show you the crazy roach room that I got lovely Oh yeah, people, this sucks. I just got done spraying this whole room. Listen, that's, hear this? That's roaches falling to the ground. And let me tell you, definitely want to have it if you walk in here right now. Gross. These are uh, just palmetto bugs. We call them, uh, I think we call them palmetto bugs. I don't know, they're roaches. And these roaches uh, get everywhere outside. Uh, but they had a field day in this, in this room of the warehouse. There's, there's tons of roaches in here. It is what it is. Um, but I'm trying to kill them. I'm trying to clean this room up best I can. I want to keep it simple. You know, it's a wood frame, as you can see. We sh I sheetrocked it. Some of the insulation got torn out. There's rodents living in here. I mean, it's a nightmare. It's a complete nightmare. But you know, the more I think about it and look at it, we need it this year for keeping the tortoises warm and uh, you know keeping the snakes in this room. Um, but I kind of wonder, guys. You know, just looking at this wood frame, it's already up. I mean, if I tore all this out, okay, just tore all this out, and maybe just somewhere down the road, insulated this entire warehouse. Okay, I can insulate this entire warehouse, tear down the, the sheetrock here, and I can use my wire, kind of, I could have a cage in here that we can cut a hole and have a cage out here. Maybe that'll be the next custom cage design. We can have an indoor outdoor cage. Um, I just get in all kinds of good ideas, but uh, in the meantime, it's crunchy down here. You can hear them all falling. Look, they're falling, dying. Sorry guys, but I got no love for you right now. I'm just trying to get rid of as many of these bugs as possible, just to make it somewhat more habitable. Uh, you can see all the roach shit. <laughs> That's the technical term. Frass, I believe is the technical term. Oh, that was crunchy. Oh, that was real crunchy. Yikes. Oof, this is gross. How many of you would uh, be able to be in this room right now? Uh, are you guys grossed out? Let me know in the comments below, man. Is this disgusting? I don't want to keep, oh, they're falling. Roaches from the sky. Whoa, hey, what? there's one. There goes one on his last legs, six of them. Um, but yeah, they're just, I don't know, man. This is what's gotta be done. It's horrible. Uh, we're gonna just keep on having roaches plummet. You remember that Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? There it is, Molaram's tomb. Molaram, prepare to meet Kali in hell.
good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. See you guys. Ugh, I got quite the mess today, don't I? But, uh, oh, hold on, wipe you guys off there. Well, oh look, there's, there's a survivor. There's a few survivors. We're gonna have to spray in here again. But um, I'm never gonna get rid of all those roaches. Uh, but at least I knocked down the population to a pretty good degree. Anyway, what I tried to, this is all roach poop. I tried to scrub it off, but it ain't going anywhere. So like I said, I'm gonna tear this whole thing down. But right now I just need a uh, place where I can keep uh, the snakes and uh, you know a couple other animals when it gets too cold. So we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna set up the vision cages and we're gonna move some snakes inside, just two. But uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing next. All right, see you in a minute. All right, well, you know what? This is about as good as it's gonna look. Uh, this is not one of the more exciting builds, but it's a little bit more presentable. Um, very simple, two vision cages, Fluker water, water bowls here that I used. All right, some Fluker water bowls that they generously have given me. Um, you know, good old vision cages coming in. I always keep these around because I may need them. Uh, you saw me put the Fluker Ultra Deluxe uh, Heat mats are underneath here. These guys are gonna have their heat under their hides. They can go in this when they want, very simply. Uh, the room itself is insulated. I'm gonna have an electric radiator over here for when I bring tortoises into this, or if I have to pull animals in on extreme cold nights, this room will stay warm. Uh, right now, let's go get Colin, um, put him in here. And uh, you know, just like I said, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't have uh heated hides for the snakes it's just easier to move the snakes in for a couple of uh, months uh for our short winter season here in florida and uh it's just peace of mind for me and truth be told when we go get the black uh the blackhead python um i've been talking to a buddy of mine we may do a trade for some turtles for the blackhead um so he may be going somewhere else i i like snakes but as far as keeping snakes I'm not like, you know, it's just not my most favorite thing to do. I enjoy keeping them outside. Like, of course, Buttercup, she's fun. She's a larger snake, but the smaller snakes, um, it's just more fun for me. <laughs> Look, here he is, just kind of hanging out, this little dude. Hi, buddy, are you, what kind of mood you in? What kind of mood you in? Come here, come here. He's such a squirmy little dude, but he's pretty good. He's never bitten me. Well, he did bit my boob once, bit me in the nipple. That's the truth but that was a while ago oh no see now what i've done what did i do i let him get into a position that he's kind of wrapped up in here come here come here there's no food today buddy there's no food today come here come here he knows he's gonna get handled and not 
just kind of get him out of this corner so I can pick him up and see what I'm doing. But he likes to worm his way in there, or rather snake his way in. Come on, look at this guy go. He's a beautiful snake though, and I do like him. I love the carpet pythons. I uh, love Australian pythons. Um, this one's named after my buddy Colin from Australia. Shout out to him. Uh, but yeah, now that the animal is just kind of snaking through here, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get him out. Come on, little buddy. But you see, he's had this nice place. He's been out here since March when things warm up here in Florida. There we go. There we go. Keep coming. Keep your little body moving. Body move in. Come here. It really is not easy to do this one-handed now, is it? He anchors himself. Come on, bub. Come on, bub. Come on, bub. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, oh no. You can't go up there. Come on. I'm going to tickle your little backside. Oh. Awesome cage, but hard to get them out when you want to. They anchor themselves. They know this is time to come out. Oh, there we go. Oh, got him. Come on, little cow. What you doing? Hold on, everyone. Where are you? Oh, oh gosh, you guys okay? Everyone all right? Here he is. He's out. Out and about. Beautiful, beautiful snake. Um, yeah, I just don't like keeping them indoors. I like it when they have the natural sun and they get to hang out but um hey this is for their well-being because it's just going to make things easier for me i can't be bringing them in and out every day uh it's better just to have them set up like this for a few months and then we'll get things back to normal once the weather changes so good stuff i'm making a dent in some things that had to be done to keep these animals happy and healthy throughout the winter season. I have a big mess on my hand here that I'll spare you. Oh, look, there's my belt, my Colin belt. Oh my gosh. Let's put Col right in here. Go on, little buddy. Go on, little buddy. There he goes. Very simple place, but I think he'll be happy. He'll be happy not to be freezing. I'll let him snake himself in there. Then we're gonna go get the blackhead python. All right, there's that. Let's get this open. Actually, I gotta change the change the configuration of these right here because we want this one on the outside, this one on the inside. It fits better. Yes, that's what I want. And then this one goes like so. Oh yeah, that's what we need. All right, let's go get the blackhead. Now the blackhead's gonna be a lot different. <laughs> he may bite me. What are you gonna do? Gotta get the snake out. Um, normally, we'll use my hat instead of a snake hook because I do have to just handle him. So we're gonna come in here. I'll leave this door open so that we can just head on out. Hello, little lady. Hello, young lad. Well, actually, distinguished older gentlemen nowadays. They're both 17 years old. Ah, there's Crazy Sophia. Hey, Crazy Sophia, back it up, kid. Back it up. This is not food. Whoa, that's not food, you maniac. That's the people. Hey, people. Okay. Oh, look who it is. Oh, yeah. There's my little inky getting bigger. All right, so Snakey Poo is in here. Are you going to bite my ankles? Please don't be an ankle biter. Let's do this. Oh, there's a snakey. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. And I think the snake's going to shed here soon. Oh, brother. Let's see what kind of mood our friend the snake is in. Are you in a bitey mood? What kind of mood, dude? What kind of mood, dude? Let's lift that off. What kind of mood, dude? What kind of mood, dude? Oh, we're all right. We're okay. You're nice and warm. You're good. You're good. No drama. No drama. Oh, that's a big snake. All right. Oh, that's a beautiful snake though, isn't it? Isn't that a beautiful snake? That's a beauty. Let's go ahead, bring the snake out. Get this snake set up. 
in the new house. I mean, guys, I started work at like nine o'clock in the morning. It's now one o'clock, so I'm still not done because there was just so much work that had to be put into that room. The worst room ever, I can't stand it. Sorry about all the shaky camera stuff, but I think you guys know I'm a one-man band at the moment until Tom gets back down here to help film. But we're doing all right, we're making it. COVID be darned. And uh, this is great. Okay, let's get them in there. There you go, lad, get in there. I don't really have a name for you. There you go, what a beauty. Nice snake, be a good snake. You got a nice clean home, that'll be warm. You'll have lots of rodents to eat. Yippee, yippee, yay. All right, now for my next trick, we're just gonna go uh, make sure the existing um, heaters are ready to go. I've got a nail gun here, rather screw gun. And I just want to cruise over here and see how we're doing. See if we've kept this heater on. It's possible this heater was left on all winter or all summer long, let's say. But this is what needs to be done. So most of the animals do in fact have, um, they do in fact have heaters in all their shelters. We've got to build a new one for Slinky. That's not gonna happen uh, in this video, but it will be happening very, very soon. Because as you guys know, we don't want Slinky to freeze. Oh, definitely not. So we're gonna just go ahead and double check this. And uh, I can hear Lagatha getting a little concerned about what I'm up to. Okay. Oh yeah, this is not plugged in. Ay, 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 ay. What we need to do is get the electric going. I gotta get, I'm glad I looked at this. We gotta get a um, electrical cord over here. We gotta plug it in and then this will be ready to go. So um, that's what I gotta do. Whew. So we gotta get an electrical cord on that one. Slinky's house has to get dialed in. Um, I already turned on uh, Guapo and Lola's uh, heaters. And we got to make the barrier, the uh, barriers for the sulcata tortoises. All right, so that's what today's video is all about. Getting things ready. Uh, all right, guys, so what I'm going to have to do is uh, get to work. I'm going to put all this away, get my work area situated again, because I've got to do a few more things to make these reptiles happy. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so daylight's getting away from me and uh, I decided I'm gonna hustle and do the rest tomorrow, but you guys will see the finished product and the videos to come, so don't worry. Good news is we got this whole place put back together. What a messy, disgusting, dirty day of rat poop and tons of roaches. Uh, definitely one of the more disgusting jobs I've had to do here at the camp. And uh, FYI, I'm allergic to uh, rodent, no, not rodent, I'm allergic to um, exoskeletons of roaches. I don't know, I found that out during one of my little, uh, I got one of these free allergy tests. Whatever, so there you go. It was not pleasant for me. What are you gonna do? But now it's clean. Uh, anyway, uh, we got everyone situated. So thanks for joining me on this disgusting day of animal uh husbandry i suppose and i will see you guys all soon in the next video see you later let me know in the comments below what did you guys think was this gross did i do a good job 
We'll see. Later.